Okay, on the line, I can see that I have Natalia and Natalia. How are you going? Hi, good. How are you, Ryan? Uh, very excited to chat to you. Disappointed, though, uh, that I trained to you so early. I didn't think you'd be uh, gone so quickly. <laughs> I didn't either. Let me just take you to that tribal council. Obviously, last night, uh, blindsided immensely. I don't even think you took your bag. When you see Alex stand up and start talking to Elizabeth, what's running through your mind? Honestly, it was kind of validation that I was going home at that time. Um, when he started talking to Elizabeth, I just knew something was up because he was actually supposed to vote for Elizabeth. You had me, Davy, and Alec voting for Elizabeth, and then it was Elizabeth and Kara voting for Davy. So there was absolutely no reason for him to be speaking to Elizabeth. And I actually, in that moment, was just thinking, okay, this is real. Um, how am I going to get out of this? Yeah. What did you do, uh, maybe, that we didn't see to try and get out of that? In that moment, actually, you, you see pretty much uh, uh, everything. I, I think I asked Kara a couple more times whether she thinks he's lying or not, and she just didn't want to believe it. And I wish she did see what was reality, uh, because then I could have convinced her to work with me at Tribal Council to get Alec out. And she just didn't want to believe that he really was gunning for me. And at that time, I didn't know if she was making it up or I didn't know if she was telling the truth. But either way, if she didn't see it or if she was lying, she really wasn't going to work in my favor to get him out. Yeah, we saw the votes come out. One, two, three. Your name was up. You're getting your torch snuffs. You're still looking for that validation, which is I thought was really cool because we don't really see that much in Survivor. People usually just go and are left uh, befuddled. But you really wanted to find out why this happened. Yeah, I really did. I wasn't going to go to Ponderosa and not have a reason for why I was gone. So I really just kept wanting the reassurance from Kara, number one, that she still had my back and she didn't go against me because that really just was in the back of my head. Like, I could see how Alec would go against me, but I just couldn't see how Kara could do that to me. So that's, again, why I had to ask her one more time before heading out. Can I just ask you, obviously, you head down to Ponderosa. You're still, obviously, probably pretty frustrated. How long did it take you to, to, I guess, process and move on? And have you even been able to move on now, having seen the episode from that tribal council? Honestly, it really took me a long time to move on from what had transpired at that tribal council. I really just felt really hurt with Alec because him and I had had a really strong connection on a personal level. I did consider him one of my friends on the island. We never talked about the game, so I definitely should have seen it as a sign. But going in with the numbers, I I thought for sure he would go with me and Kara and get one of the two Davids out. So it really was just hurtful, especially his face. I think it was the face that he makes. It's just so smug. It was just very hurtful for me, and that lasted a very long time. Yeah, no, I I can fully get that. I understand your logic, especially with Carl coming back into that tribe after the vote. So um, it's it's an incredibly interesting decision. I guess we'll see how that plays out. During the day, though, you also seemed to be a little apprehensive about how it was going. You were seeking reassurances. What was giving you maybe a negative vibe before you even headed to tribal council? It was clear from Alec that he was getting along with Davey. They were hanging out a lot, and he really wasn't giving me eye contact when I was speaking to him. So the lack of eye contact shows me distrust. When you feel really open and honest with someone, you want to show them that honesty. And he really was closed off with me, and I felt that very early on. And with Kara being really close with Elizabeth, I felt very out of place. Because now also I had someone that I'm really close with who's who's really just not giving me the attention, she's giving Elizabeth the attention. And that just fueled the fire. And it just was a downward spiral from there. Pre that swap, it seemed like you were in a pretty good position. Obviously, you had uh, Cara, you had uh, Angelina as well. The, the three girls, you guys seemed to be in a power position. Was that accurate in your mind? Or do you feel like you were in a comfortable position before the swap? Oh, for sure. I I really did not feel like my name was ever going to be on the chopping block. There was a point of weakness where I did have to ask a couple people, is it me? Because you always have to ask yourself that um, going into tribal council. But honestly, there was just so much other drama going on away from like me. So I knew that my name wasn't on the chopping block and I felt comfortable with the numbers. Now going into the Vuku tribe where there's only five of us and I only have three Goliaths, and two Davids that I had just met the night before, I felt very, very exposed. And I, I, I really just, I, I, I just didn't trust where I was at with anybody on the tribe. It's really, yeah, I find that really fascinating, obviously, having such a close relationship with Kara. We even see you find um, the idol with Dan uh, earlier in the season. So do you feel like 
Kara was working with you? Do you feel like she had any knowledge about the vote last night? I really do believe she was working with me. And I did get a lot of reassurance with her in the, the Vuku tribe. But I did come to her and tell her how I had doubts about Alec. And maybe she just thought it was just added paranoia. But she just didn't see it. And she didn't want to really, like, acknowledge those feelings. She kind of just told me that, no, no, he's on her side. He's on her side. But to me, it was just so evident. I wish that she just said, really, you feel this way? Yeah. Okay, what do you want to do about it? But instead, she was like, no, no. She wanted to just believe the best situation where I was constantly seeing the worst situation. Uh, you mentioned uh, previously just about the disagreements that were happening back at uh, the Goliath camp. I think one of the disagreements we saw possibly with you was with Natalie. Can you describe um, what your relationship was like with Natalie out there? You know, it's really sad because I talk bad about Natalie a lot on the show. And I do wish that she did have an opportunity on the show to tell her feelings about me or about other tribe members because it's very one-sided. So the only thing I wish that I saw on TV was a little bit of what Natalie had to say about me. And I think that that drama is kind of fun. You know, like, I think that because it was like an even feud between the two of us, it would have been fun to see what she had to say about me. And and really, that's that's kind of what I hoped to see. But I didn't get that. No, no, you didn't. Uh, I don't think with secret scenes either. So that's a little bit disappointing. Playing Survivor, you always know it's going to be incredibly tough, not only mentally, but physically. You're uh, put into the environment that is. This season in particular has been absolutely crazy for the weather. Could you prepare yourself for what that was like to actually go through those conditions out on the island? Oh my God, no, like that was just crazy. And honestly, it was a lot worse than what you saw. Um, That night where I was shivering, I think that I was shivering almost every night, but you know, you don't really see that. And that's why we really had these strong connections with, with all of us is because we really needed each other for that comfort and that warmth. And that's something you can't prepare for because you really need the people on your tribe to to, to help you feel sane in those moments of weakness and those moments where you just want to quit. There's other people on the tribe who are feeling the same way and you have to uplift each other and you can't prepare for that because you have to use other people to get you further in the game. No, I 100% have so much respect for you guys. Honestly, uh, I was in a rainstorm for about five minutes yesterday and uh, I almost died. So for you guys to survive <laughs> multiple hours out there is amazing. You, t- you talk about... Uh, you know, building those relationships. Who were the people that you felt like you had the strongest connections with in this game? Honestly, I had a really strong connection with Kara Angelina, Kara and Angelina. You, you see how I have no problem telling Angelina that I don't agree with her vote for Jeremy. Yeah. That's because I felt very confident with my relationship with the two of them. I knew that I could be really open and honest with them. I did have a fun and very lighthearted connection with Jeremy and Alec and Mike with them three, we know we didn't really talk strategy that much. And I think that's because strategy didn't really have to come up that often, you know? So it would have been, I think it would have been good to see who else I would have gone into a swap with because, you know, I think for sure I would have still been in this game. Yeah, it's a, it's a hard one. Hindsight is always twenty twenty. Um, One last question I was going to ask you, obviously five is a huge game. You prepare for it for, for months to go out there and play but it's not only a, a physical game, it's a game that you, I think, learn a lot about yourself. Leaving the game, is there anything that you've learned about yourself from your Survivor experience? Uh, yeah, I mean, I definitely knew that that aggressive side exists. I didn't... It's different when you see how other people react towards it. So I think that that was kind of the most eye-opening thing because someone that I thought I was close with um, who was getting that offended by my personality it made me really think about how people who don't know me, how they think about me, because yeah. it, it's really easy to assume that I'm just being mean and I, I, I'm, I'm being inconsiderate. But honestly, it's just how I express myself. And I hope to change that. I hope to be a little bit more self-aware. Natalia, thank you so much for chatting today. I genuinely appreciate it. And uh, all the best. Good luck. And hopefully you do get that second chance. Thank you so much. Thank you. It was really nice talking to you.